So we define it, the number of observations inside the variable coefficients for linear dependency step to generate the x variable, which will be our independent value, independent parameter. And let's try to run this part of the code to be sure that everything is okay. Uh, let's name it main break main open workspace and we will see that x value is the row uh, with the length one to one thousand it means that everything is okay and we have exactly what we want uh, the next step is to create an array error. Uh, it's like a variation near the linear, uh, near the line. So we will use the function from the lab work. It will be our function, where is lab work? I will open it. From the first lab work, it's norm RNT function. We need to define a uh, number of uh, rows, number of columns. So number of rows will be one, number of columns will be n, and number uh, mean value will be zero. And uh, standard deviation, for example, will be three. Let's select three. And our y variable will be equal to b0 multiplied by x <clears throat> or b0 plus b1 multiplied by x and plus error. Let's run it. I don't have an error here. Uh, uh, incompatible size for this operation. Error using plus. So let's check what do we have in error variable. Control D. Yes, and we see that we have uh, we have empty empty array. Double click to the function. I'm pressing F1 to read information about synthesis. And I see that I did a mistake. Uh, mu and sigma should be in the first place and sizes should be in the second and the fourth. So I need to change the order of the input arguments. Let's run it one more time. And I must see that I have uh, good results. So my variable has one row and 1,000 columns. And my variable y is also looks quite good. Let's, uh, but we need to analyze uh, is this uh, relationship uh, good for us and uh, may be used in our research of linear regression properties. So let's plot it. Um, let's plot scatter, scatter, scatter plot. We create a new figure and we will use function scatter. We don't know this function yet. It will be function from, uh, from the lab work number three, as I remember, but it allows us to plot uh, distribution of the um, data. So let's uh, use this code figure scatter from X and Y. It will be our variables on the X and Y axis. And it's a mark uh, type. So we will plot our data set uh, using st these stairs and run this section, control plus D.
you see that you have really little variation near the line. So your data set is quite compact and error in impact is weak. Let's try to zoom it. But you may see that these fluctuations near the linear uh, near the line is quite uh, random and it's close to the noise. So at uh, this noise be the higher variance because you see that the value of y is goes higher than one thousand and standard deviation three is small. Let's select uh, it's uh, greater in 10 times and rerun the program. Mm -hmm. Now it looks better. But still is quite compact. Let's select 100 of sigma. Yes, I like it. So we will use something like this. We may change uh, that we may add uh, the title, for example, or um, grid. Let's grid one. And title that will be better uh, zero is equal to. I'll, I don't remember class is yes. um, one moment. I just check the. Mm -hmm. We will uh, add the title to this plot with information of their um, parameters which we are using. It will be title B0 is equal to num to str. This function converts num numerical variable B0 into string and we may use in plus to combine to merge our uh, um, strings to join them and to construct a sentence using um, this approach sigma is equal to my heart i will use also, let's uh, select it into this variable also. And uh, if we rerun this section, you will um, go to the title, not enough input arguments. With the problem. Mm. Yes, like here. So you will see information about the plot. I will send this part of the code to the chart. So you may take it and check. And also we may add the line to the plot which will be our real relationship between y and x, but without error. Let's call it y line. For this, we need to use hold on function and plot. Hold on uh, allows to plot several several plots into one figure without uh, deleting previous one. Uh, 
I forgot to find this variable. And you may see this red line, which express the main dependency between X and Y. So it's our model data set number one with linear relationship between X and Y coefficient of the relationship two and three and um, variation uh, near the line with sigma is 100. Uh, the second part is uh, to create a quadratical relationship between them. It's not a problem. Let's copy paste uh, the first part of the code Well, then you uh, section. We need to define a b and c, and uh, the expression will be. Not linear, non linear, but a multiplied by x in square plus b multiplied by x plus c plus error. And the uh, Quadratical clear value of the y will be the same, but without error, without adding an error shift. Uh, and also, let's select step a little bit smaller. Also, we may use the same code for plotting. A and B values will be also in the title. Let's run this section, Control D. Uh -huh. We have, yes, we forgot to add dot. Naham, do you have a question? I know, I just wanted to say maybe you need to write uh, one plot, uh, uh -huh. blot x, y, uh, q, right? Uh, it's. Uh, X, uh, I mean, in blood, you need to write YQ, you write Y line. Mm. One more time. I don't understand. Uh, blood. Blood. You see blood? Blood. Yes. Blood. Final section. In the final section, blood. Ah. X, Y, Q. Ah, yes, yes, exactly. Yes. You are, you are correct. Yes. Mm hmm but we need, uh, I have an error because I forgot to use dot before the power, um, because we need to find a quadratic uh, a power of two for each element in the matrix X. So we need to use dot before this um, operation to be sure that this is element by element operation, not matrix operation. Let's run this section, control enter. And the second one is control enter. Yes, it's also okay. Uh, let's play with the, the B value. Let's select to the 30 to see how the shape will change. So nothing <laughs> special. And A. I want to create um, a function which will be nonlinear exact in, in general.
For example, something like this. So here we have a quadratical relationship between X and Y. And we see that this uh, function close to linear, but exactly it's non-linear. Non In our task, we will um, apply linear regression to these two data sets for the first and for the second one. And we will see the difference uh, how the quality of the model varies from one to another, that for the first case, we will have good results with good, uh, with the, uh, good quality of the model. We will measure this quality using parameters such as correlation coefficient, such as residual plots analysis, and you will see it. And you will see that for the second one, uh, the model is quite weak that we will have uh, bad residuals, that we have poor correlation and this kind of things. And we will, uh, as you remember, that residual analysis is quite important when we are talking about linear regression. So uh, we will plot these residuals and we will have that for some case, for the first case, we have heteroskedasticity but for non-linear data set, we will have the picture like this. Do you see? Yes. So the right part will be our case for the second data set. So the main idea of this task is to uh, create two um, data sets with known relationship. In the first case, it will be linear relationship between um, Y and X. In the second case, we have non-linear relationship and um, we will create a linear model for two cases. And we will see that for the first case, case, this model perfect and describes the data and has uh, good uh, residuals, good correlation, good uh, coefficient of determination and all this stuff that uh, corresponds to the quality of the model. And for the second case, we will have weak model with bad results, with bad, bad residuals, and with bad correlation and bad um, uh, coefficient of determination. So uh, we need, as, uh, as you remember, we need to create a function with input arguments, coefficients A, B, C, and every size. Let's create a function. So click to the new function because we will use this uh, code in, in the future project, in the future part of the project. Let's- Please, can uh, I ask you a question? Also, huh? Can I ask you a question? Yes, of course. Uh, when I run the, um, the script, I have error with uh, no mod. Could, could you share your screen? Mm -hmm. Norm run the function, norm run, right? Norm R and D. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like I have problem with that, so I don't know why. Oh. One moment, I will open. Norm R and D. Mm -hmm. So click to statics and machine learning toolbox. Click to this uh, line, to this text. Statistics and machine learning toolbox. It's where? Uh, I guess. I guess uh, she just have to exchange um, the parameters because she uh, she must put one and n. In no, the no, 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 uh, no. You see that uh, return to the error message. You see that uh, it said that normal and zero twice statistic and machine learning toolbox. What does it mean? Uh -huh. It means that you don't have statistic and machine learning toolbox. Exactly. Please click to this text. Click yes. Waiting. Okay. Uh, could you see the right part of this window? Slightly moved. Uh huh. 
click to sign in to install. Yes, so we need to install it. Just wait a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and do um, wait, okay. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. So enter your email, which connected with MATLAB account. Okay, it's my student email. I need mm -hmm. to check it. Because you also needed to perform your first level. Uh -huh. Yes. Continue. I don't we shut down. Continue. I think you should continue. Mm -hmm. uh, so please uh, mm -hmm. uh, say when we will be finished, okay? That everything is normal. Mm -hmm. And let's continue. We stopped uh, on the function creation. Uh, let's create a function. It will be with name. Or just linear data set. Data, data set. <coughs> and as we remember, Coefficients A, B, C. In our linear case, it will be B0, B1. 
and RSS and provide a default generation mode without specifying the parameters for the input arguments. What does it mean? It means that we need to uh, set default default values for the our, for our coefficients. How to do it? MATLAB has specific um, specific variable nargin. If nargin, it's a number of input arguments less than one. So if we don't have if we don't have input arguments at all, when we are calling our function, let's suppose b0 will be equal to two, b3 will be equal to, or b1 will be equal to, to what? To three. And sigma will be equal to 100. N will be equal to 1000. So it's our default values for their coefficient. Uh, and also we need to add sigma parameter as input arguments. And after that, we just copy paste the code and also uh, we need to find to change the name of the variable it will be y and y zero for example zero it's like a, without an error And let's save it using the same name as the function. Save this file. Name of the file should be equal to the function name. It's important. Let's try to run it from the main script. Control enter. And you see in our workspace, workspace new variables y and y0, which are quite close to the uh, what we what to have. And if you plot it, you will see the result. We may change the values of the B0 and B1. For example, let's do it minus two. We run this code and you will see that the B1 is minus two and we have a line that decrease. So we may use this function. So it the function. Uh, if you want to call the function in default mode, we just do something like this. We'll read the sum arguments with default. So if you run this code, you will see that Everything is okay, everything works, and you have default values of the arguments. But actually, B0 and sigma is old values, so we don't know them, actually. Um, and we may do the same for the quadratic Task, but I want you to do it by your own. Uh, create a function, quadratic data set, which will do the same. Take um, 
take the parameters of the distribution and returns two uh, three variables, x, y, and y without an error. Try to do it by your own without my help. And it will be uh, the finished, the first part of the level. And then uh, as the result of the first task, you will have two functions linear data set and quadratic data set. I forgot how to write quadratic. <laughs> uh, what data set? It doesn't matter how to call it, actually. You may select your own function name if you want. So Julia returned. Mm -hmm. So I uh, try yeah. to create a function by your own with quadratic dependency between y and x. And as a result, you will have two functions and two data sets. And the result of the first part. And the second step, uh, we will create a function which calculates coefficient b0 and b1 in accordance with a linear regression model and this equation. So be ready to continue uh, in the next class. Uh, but one more time, the task for you before the next practice to create quadratic data set uh, function which produce the data dependent, which dependent uh, in accordance with quadratic equation. Use the same approach is as for the previous function linear data set. You just need to uh, define input arguments in case of quadratic relationship between the ABC, sigma, and n. Uh, you also need to define default values and uh, just uh, change the function which calculates the y, and it will be, and, and it will be that's all. Save it somewhere near your main script and in the next class we will continue with task number two. We will create a function which returns b0 and b1 uh, using your generated errors. If you, uh, if you feel uh, power in MATLAB, you may try to do it by your own uh, if you understand what you should do. And so you may also do it uh, by your own. Okay. Do you have questions? Mahama? Can you please open the function again? Uh, I will send this. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I, I may, say, may attach this function to the Moodle.com. <clears throat> okay. And I think that yep. I, I, I uh, cancel changes and also attach this function, this uh, script to the Moodle. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I guess it's going to be a good idea because mm -hmm. so we can follow it. Yeah, yeah. And also, I will um, uh, I will load this record to YouTube so you may watch it one more time and repeat it. Perfect. <laughs>